everybody. Well for today's uh, autopsy impossible motor repair is this generic water pump that I found on the side of the road. Uh, it's basically just one of those freebies that they usually throw in when you buy a uh, water tank. It's got a 2900 RPM motor on it which is sort of why I uh, picked it up but yeah it's single phase 240 volt AC. Uh, it's got a run cap and everything in it. You can hear it rattling around inside it and it's also got the um I'll just let the camera focus. There we go. It does also have the other uh, Torium flow controller on it as well. Well, not Torium actually, it's just a generic one. When I say Torium, I mean the ones for the Davy water pumps are a, um, they're basically, Torium is their brand name. This is just a generic one. But it's essentially the same thing, but we'll uh, open it up and have a look inside, see how that works. And, um, See if we can get this motor to work, which is the main reason I grabbed this really, is just so I can see if I can get that uh, little single phase motor going. The, uh, it is seized, um, there's a lot of rust down in there and I have a feeling the pump's probably blown, but we'll probably just start with, for starters, getting these cables out of the way and getting this uh, access pulled off, just have a look inside it. Okay, well there's the uh, front cover off the pump. As you can see, there's quite a lot of rust in it. It's been sitting for quite some time with a bit of water in, probably down the bottom there, going by the uh, the tide mark. But it does turn over, which is good. It was just a little bit of rubbish down the bottom that was stopping it, but it um, hopefully it'll run again. The motor didn't smell burnt or anything when I uh, took the uh, top cover off of that. I will take it off again, but just when I quickly got it home and looked at it, it... Um, it didn't smell burnt, but well, um, probably next thing will be to try and see if we can get this uh, impeller off, and then get probably cut around there and just cut this whole uh, pump assembly off, since it's all one with the front end bell of the motor. Which next thing will be to open that up and just see what nick that's in. Okay, well, the executive decision is this uh, can go back together as a working electric motor. The windings are all perfectly good. The road is also good, the bearings are dead quiet, like, no noise from either of them. That one's a little bit worn, but it's fine, it'll pass any test. And the stator windings are all perfectly good, both the start and the run. There is a little thermal switch there, which is also good to know. There's the, uh, the top cover off of it, I had to cut the uh, wire, but it's just the three core stuff. The idea was to actually use the existing power cord on this motor, but that's your cap. It's a 10 mark Farad 450 volt AC polyfilm. Presuming it's polyfilm, it's one of those ones. But that's uh, that's all in good nick. It's not blown out or anything. So this thing can basically uh, go back together as an electric motor. I'm just going to cut the uh, existing pump off. I didn't end up breaking a couple of fins off the impeller. I can find yeah that one there broke off by accident. But that uh, it feels like it's brass. I'm not sure if it is or not, but it's it probably will be brass to stop it uh, corroding. There's its tiny little key. There's a slot for it in the end of the shaft. That standard size, so that will fit any uh, any pulley or fan or anything I want to put on the end of that. There's the other. The fan for the motor for the other side. This is plastic cheap. I might even get, give it a, a proper spray over. I've got some green paint. It's a bit of lighter colour than this, but it'll uh, it'll do. But um, anyway, next step is just to get the angle grinder out and just cut all of those off, and then separate this front bell housing from the uh, pump casing. Then that can go back on. 